The gun I just used, sea ring gun, only cost two hundred dollars. It's a Camson. Watch a review. If you like this, stay tuned. Amazon you get on Amazon what are the difference well let's open this up and take a look this is what you get Get some Allen wrenches in case you need to work on it. You get extra seals, template, and one clip of C rings. Two clips of C rings. I want to show you the closure of each gun. We'll go first with the camps. See how small that is? Now remember, this gun is very old. It's about eight years old. See the two difference? The difference in size. We use this on putting our lights on balls. So if you need a large, ring then the stanley would be your choice but you're going to pay over a thousand or this one you're going to pay about 209 dollars at this time. now we've used this for a year we have not had no issues yet so this is another gun that we purchased now When it comes to purchasing a C-Ring gun, I highly recommend the KSC-7C. The reason why, the C-Rings that you'll purchase will be much cheaper. If you go with another gun, and this is a 15 gauge, this is a 15 gauge, these C-Rings will interchange with each gun. What type of C-ring, what size of C-rings do you need? Well, you need to look at your gun. The SC7C and this Stanley uses a 15 gauge, three quarter C-ring. And it's in a link below. The different depends on what you're doing. Now, this is a mild steel. It will rust. It has no protection. We'll use this type of C-rings on our grapevine products because we want it to rust and look like grapevines. This is a galvanized. It will not rust. If you're painting your project and you're applying paint to your c-ring you, you will, will need to use galvanize or you will need to use an oil base because this will rust and under the paint where galvanize will not rust and you can apply latex paint or you can apply oil base i will load this up for you as you can see how to load your c-ring gun you just simply take your C ring, place it over, take it, put it on this, slide it down, take both fingers, pull it back, and 
load and you're good to go. This gun is perfect, perfect to connect fence. It holds it tight. Now this gun makes all loose and it, it doesn't hold really well. But what this gun is good for is when you're putting vines, twigs, or making crafts. This one is a little heavier. They, uh, they're almost identical to size. This one just feels, I don't know, feels like the trigger's a little bit further forward. And this one feels like this is skinnier. And this, this is more out and Avalon. Doesn't look too much different. Definitely lighter. Very, this is a lot lighter. So if I was going to work all day and had to hold this gun for eight hours, I definitely would want this one. This one just feels like I don't know. I really like the way this feels and the way it works. So I guess you'd have to just make a trade off. We've uh, actually had one of these guns. They they do really well. So let's, let's see what a week of working with them. Let's see what it does for us. And then I'll get back with you and, and give you my final thoughts on the two guns. All right, now one of the problems I've seen with this gun is I went to remove this nipple and it I had to use a pry bar. They had this in so tight that I couldn't get it out with just a wrench. So it came with this nipple. And if you can see right there, it stuck to the inside and I had to use a wrench and this pry bar to get it out. Now, I always like to put these nipples on and the links in the bottom, but and put a connector, purple connector, and here's the reason why. See how quick it is? They don't leak, and it's just so, saves you so much time. So, I'll have these in the link below in case you want to put them on your gun. But it's just, it's the best ones I've found so far. Okay, I want to share my final thoughts on these three guns. And we have a woodpecker gun. We don't use it because it's very weak. You'd almost have to turn the pressure up a great deal. So we, we don't use it. 
But I want to share my thoughts on these three guns. My first pick would be the Stanley. If cost wasn't an issue. If you have the money and you're the type that must have the best, Stanley is your gun. Stanley is the best gun there is. But this is over a thousand dollars compared to these two at around 250. But if you want the best, Stanley is the best. It'll last for many years. As I said, we've got multiple Stanleys and we've had them for probably eight to 11 years. This gun and this gun, these two guns are equal, except when we received this gun, we, we kind of had a few issues with the changing out the tit, the air tit. And uh, on this one, we'd have some issues with it hanging up when you reload it. But this one will shoot tighter on your vines if you're using vines. The size of the C-ring closure are the same. Basically, this is a little smaller than this one. But when you use this one, it clamps tighter and it holds vines better to wire. So I, we'd rather use this gun. Now, this gun, we've had no issue. We bought two of these, had no issue straight out of the box, not an issue. Everything works just as smooth as, as, as butter. But when we use it on the vines, it, it, it doesn't seem to have the power of closing our vines as tightly as we like. But using it on wire, closing up wire fencing, we'd rather use this one. It just closes smaller and it just it's lighter. It just works better for wiring. This one, we'd rather use for vines. Using grapevines or anything kind of big and bulky, this is it. So that's our final review. I hope this review helped you on making your decision on purchasing a C-Ring gun. And if you like this video, please comment, like, and share. Thank you.